Austin City Council is giving you one more chance to give your opinion about background checks for ride-sharing drivers. There is another public hearing tonight at City Hall. It comes after the city clerk validated a petition by ride-sharing companies that would ban Austin from, finger pr from requiring fingerprint background checks for ride-sharing drivers. Next Thursday, the council will decide if the ordinance debate will go on to the ballot next May. And tonight, the public hearing starts at 6.30 at City Hall. Going green and having a green thumb don't always go together. <laughs> but KXAN's Rosie Newberry introduces us to one young Austinite who's doing sustainable gardening for a good cause. It started with playground talk three years ago. Ian McKenna heard some kids at his school were going to bed hungry. Well, I, I wanted to really just help them. So Ian came up with the idea to grow his own food and then donate it to needy families. Yes, celery. Then we have a couple of little strawberries here. There's not much to see in this garden right now besides some young broccoli, but in the coming months, Ian hopes to plant fruits and vegetables that he'll donate to the Capital Area Food Bank. He got money to plant his garden from a private nonprofit called Katie's Crops. And Ian's growing beyond his own backyard. He wrote a heartfelt proposal to the city of Austin to expand gardening projects to supply fresh food to underprivileged kids at Sunset Valley, his old elementary school. Honestly, it was a, it was a four tissuer. It, 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 it sort of made us cry. We've gone through probably 500 applications since the start of this program, and his just, just really hit a nerve. Ian's projects are sustainable. He hopes to sell the leftover fruits and veggies each season to a farmer's market to buy more seed for the next year. My main dream is just to get this started all around the world. Really. Starting with success at just 11 years old, it's easy to believe that going global is exactly what Ian will do. Rosie Newberry, KXAN News. Ian's persuasive grant proposal won about $2,000 from the city of Austin. Read it in its entirety at our website, kxan.com.